kids, and screen time. It's a thing. Whether educational, creative, or entertainment-based, most parents want a helping hand in monitoring exactly how much and what type of content kids are consuming. Today, we'll go over some simple and budget-friendly ways to do just that. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're going to help you get a handle on the various types of parental controls and monitoring options available to you for free or at minimal cost, and show you how to set them up with ease. If you find the info in today's video helps you out a bit, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Let's start off with Microsoft Family Safety, which works on iOS, Android, Xbox, and Windows devices, and is a parental control app that lets you monitor screen time and app usage across multiple devices for free with a Microsoft account. All you need to do is set up a Microsoft account for each family member you want to track. Now, if you don't already have a Microsoft family group, simply sign into your Microsoft account, click Add a Family Member, and enter the email addresses associated with their Microsoft account. To set up a Microsoft account for your child, you can click Create a Child Account and follow the on-screen instructions. Then, download the Microsoft Family Safety app on each mobile device, tablet, or Xbox you'd like to monitor, and sign your family members into their own Microsoft accounts on their own respective devices. In addition to monitoring activity, you can also turn on screen time limits, schedules, filter specific apps, monitor location via GPS, and even monitor web browsing if using the Edge browser. If using the Edge browser, you can set allowed and blocked websites, search filters, and more. There's even location sharing options, and you can save places your children visit frequently. With a premium account, if you happen to be a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you can also set up location alerts and monitor drive history and get access to drive safety reports. You know, if your tiny human isn't quite so tiny anymore. For Mac users, there are built-in parental controls for screen time monitoring as well. By turning on family sharing, you can remotely manage and monitor each child's device usage from your own Mac or iOS device. If you choose not to use family sharing, you can still log into a child's Mac account and set up screen time in their settings if you choose to do so. Whether you're doing this through your account via family sharing or via your child's account, go to System Preferences, Screen Time, Choose the child if using family sharing, click options in the lower left corner, then click turn on in the upper right corner. At this point, you have the option to include website data if you want specific sites visited instead of general time spent in Safari, and to activate a screen time passcode to allow additional time once limits expire or to adjust settings. You can also set up a downtime schedule, set time limits for individual apps or sites, set up communication limits and or content and privacy restrictions as well. Now, while PC and Mac can do a lot incorporating the features we've just mentioned, if you wanna go even further than that or you have specific child-focused devices not covered so far, there are other downloadable programs that may be more suited to your particular goals. Custodio is a free app for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Chromebook, and Kindle that includes things like social media monitoring, text message tracking, and calls. The real-time internet filter can detect and block inappropriate sites, even in private browsing modes. Now, if you upgrade to the premium version, you can monitor up to five devices, have location tracking, and more. Kaspersky Safe Kids is another option for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS that's free with no limit on devices or child profiles. For premium features like location tracking, social media monitoring, YouTube search history, and real-time alerts, there's a seven-day free trial, and it's only $14.99 a year for the full version if you decide to keep it. Kaspersky offers a pretty robust web activity monitoring that's category specific and while it includes multiple browser options on desktop, on Android and particularly iOS, your browser options are limited to Chrome or Kaspersky safe browsers. iOS devices in general limit the third party monitoring you can use so you won't be able to monitor app usage or block access after a time limit is reached. Net Nanny and Norton Family Premier are other popular options that are out there as well, and while they both offer monitoring similar to what we've discussed so far, neither have free versions and run anywhere from $39.99 to $89.99 per year. As with any monitoring software, privacy can be a major concern as well as finding the line between over and under monitoring when it comes to your child, and that can be a very personal decision. For my tiny human, I tend to favor monitoring and limits that 
encourage education and creativity when using devices, and block out some of the other activities that I'm not interested in him experiencing just yet. What type of monitoring are you looking to see? Are there other solutions that you've seen that you recommend? And if so, shout them out in the comments. All right, take care everyone, safe surfing, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.